Hello and welcome to Buncombe Monthly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know all about upcoming county events. Now we're coming to you today from beautiful Owen Park, so if you haven't been here before, obviously it's kind of nice, so you should check it out. Now all the information I give you in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. If you'd like to catch this episode again or see any of BCTV's original programming, visit buncombecounty.org slash YouTube. You can also stream our channel live whenever you like to your computer, tablet, or mobile device. Just visit bctv.bybit.com. Well, spring has sprung, which means it's also time for the opening of the tailgate markets throughout Buncombe County. They're going to be opening throughout April and May, and you should check them out if you want fresh greens, cheeses, meats, baked goods, and much more. Produce offerings will differ from market to market based on the location of vendor farms. Visit the farmer's market every week because as the seasons change, so does the produce that will be available. There are 51 markets situated all around western North Carolina, so you could have one right down the road and not even know it. You can find a list of spring tailgate markets and their hours of operation online by checking out ASAP's online local food guide at AppalachianGrown.org. The Buncombe County Soil and Water Conservation District is officially inviting you to the opening of their Heritage Farm Trail. The Heritage Farm Trail is a cycling and driving path throughout the scenic, beautiful farmlands here in Buncombe County. The opening event includes welcome speeches, traditional Appalachian music, an herb sale, and guided conservation hike on Sandy Mush Farm. There's also going to be a cookout lunch. The grand opening is taking place at Sandy Mush Farm on Saturday, May 7th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. They're located at 432 Big Sandy Mush Road in Leicester. For more information about the Farm Heritage Trail or the opening ceremony, please visit farmheritagetrail.org. Well, now that it's finally warm and sunny outside, don't let it go to waste. Why don't you get outside, get some fresh air, and maybe help the community a bit by volunteering for Asheville Greenworks. They have a lot of great and fun events coming up in April. On April 16th, they're joining Warren Wilson College for a school orchard planting from 9 a.m. to noon. The plan is to plant 10 apple and pear trees to establish the Hall Fletcher Community Orchard. If you're interested in joining, it's for all ages and all tools will be provided. Also on April 16th, they're holding their Big Arbor Day celebration from 1 to 4 p.m. at Carrier Park in Asheville. There will be everything from a tree circus, climbing demos, woodworkers, Tree City USA, and the Warren Wilson Timber Team. The best part? The event is free and open to the public with lots of fun activities for the kids. On April 23rd, Asheville Greenworks is partnering with many great local organizations like Open Box, Blue Ridge Biofuels, Kirby, Biltmore Iron and Metal Company, the Habitat for Humanity Restore, Snake, Rabbit, and Snail Bookmobile, and the Asheville Humane Society for the Hard to Recycle Day. Bring out your electronics, TVs, batteries, styrofoam, books, and more to be recycled at 161 South Charlotte Street in Asheville from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Finally, on April 30th is the Great Asheville Buncombe Cleanup. Start now by organizing your neighborhood for an outdoor spring cleaning. Asheville Greenworks will provide the bags, gloves, safety vests, road signs, and litter grabbers. After all the trash is collected, the city of Asheville and NCDOT will come pick up all of your trash. For more information about any of these great events, call Asheville Greenworks at 828-254-1776. Their office is located at 318 Riverside Drive. You can also visit their website at AshevilleGreenworks.org. A couple more great activities coming up outside for kids are fishing tournaments sponsored by Buncombe County Recreation Services. One of them is taking place right here at Owen Park and the other one at Lake Julian. The first fishing tournament is taking place on Saturday, April 16th at Owen Park. Recreation Services is partnering with the NC Wildlife Resource Commission to bring this great event to all kids up to age 15. Check-in begins at 8 a.m. and the tournament will go from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The cost is just $5 per child. The next fishing tournament will take place at Lake Julian Park on Saturday, May 14th. 
The tournament will also last from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., so make sure to get there by 8 to register. Cost for that event is $10, which covers bait, snacks, and a free hot dog lunch after the tournament. These are both catch-and-release events, and prizes will be awarded for biggest fish, smallest fish, and most fish caught. For more information or more great upcoming events from Recreation Services, visit buncombecounty.org parks. And speaking of Recreation Services, they're also in charge of all of the great Special Olympics programs that take place throughout the year. Their spring games are coming up in the beginning of May, so if you have an athlete in mind or if you're looking for a great opportunity to volunteer, why not check it out? The games will take place on Thursday, May 5th at Robertson High School, beginning with an opening ceremony at 9 a.m. Athletes from throughout Buncombe County will demonstrate their athletic prowess in events such as standing long jump, running long jump, track and field events, softball throw, and relays. Typically, these games can attract 500 athletes and 1,000 volunteers every year, but more volunteers are always needed. If you're interested in volunteering, you can sign up online at buncombecounty.org slash Special Olympics. Buncombe County Health and Human Services want all new parents out there to know the importance of infant safe sleeping. Do you know how your infant's supposed to sleep at night? Well, it's as easy as ABC. As a parent, it's very important that you get good sleep. It's also very important that your child gets a good night's sleep also. Remember, babies should always sleep alone, within arm reach, on their backs, in a crib. Remember, ABCs to get your Zs. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs, cats, and more that are currently in need of a good home. Now when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. Here are some dogs and cats currently in need of a good home. Meet Elsie. She's an FIV positive kitty, which means positively adoptable. Uh, she's a gorgeous female, five-year-old orange and white calico looking for a comfy couch and a quiet home. This month's featured pet is Kiwi, a female coonhound blue tick mix. At six, she still has the personality of a playful puppy. Look at the bright green eyes and playfulness of Queen Cleopatra. She's a four-year-old black domestic short hair that will play for hours. Don't let his name fool you, Bonkers is a well-trained one-year-old male black Labrador Retriever mix. He would love to run around in your backyard. This playful little kitten is Dolce. She is an eight-week-old domestic short hair who is very curious. This handsome fellow is Rocco. He's a three-year-old terrier pit bull mix. He's a great hiking dog who loves to be in the front of the pack and does very well in a car. This sleepy guy is Maverick. He's a three-year-old black and gray tabby mix who is a wonderful addition to any home. This is M. Knight, a male three-year-old terrier who has an unbreakable sixth sense and shows signs of wanting to live in your village. Aside from being a great biscuit maker, one and a half year old Roxy is also a black and white domestic short hair who loves to rub her face all over you. This little girl is Ella. She's a one year old hound mix who seems skittish, but she will cuddle up on your lap if you give her just the chance. To reach the Asheville Humane Society, you can call us at 828-761-2001 or to view all of our available animals for adoption, visit our website at AshevilleHumane.org. Have you visited your local branch library recently? Well, if you have, you'd know they're not just a quiet place to check out a book and read. They sponsor many great programs throughout the year for every age and interest. In fact, here are a few such events coming up in April. On Thursday, April 21st at 3.15 p.m., the West Asheville Library will host Mr. Puffball, Stunt Cat to the Stars author Constance Lombardo for a great slideshow, reading, and Q&A. There will also be hands-on drawing time. 
Children will love this great presentation and learn how Mr. Puffball was created. On Tuesday, April 26th at 7 p.m., the Lester Library is hosting a class on retirement and making your money last. Licensed financial advisor Nathan Garrett will discuss strategies to help you fulfill your retirement expectations, focusing on providing not only for your income needs today, but for the future. On Wednesday, April 27th at 6 p.m., Pack Memorial Library is hosting a Save Downtown Asheville and the Wrap Meeting. The program asks why and tells how the demolition of a large piece of downtown Asheville almost happened. Leaders from the Save the Downtown Asheville and the Wrap will be present. On Friday, April 29th at 6 p.m., the North Asheville Library is hosting a class on diabetes prevention and reversal. Mary Liskey, lifestyle and wellness coach, will present. Now, these are just a handful of the events sponsored by the Buncombe County Library System. If you'd like to see the full list, visit buncombecounty.org library. If you're an avid runner here in Buncombe County and have a penchant for animal welfare issues, then Catawba's 5K Race to the Taps is just for you. A portion of the proceeds will benefit the Asheville Humane Society. Race to the Taps is 26.2 miles of racing over the course of four races the first of which is taking place on Saturday, April 23rd with a five-miler at Catawba Brewery at 2.30 p.m. The races will take place throughout the year and end in October with great breweries involved, like Appalachian Brewery, Pisca Brewing, and finally New Belgium. If you're interested in taking part in any of these races, visit racetothetaps.com to register online today. Our Voice is a very important nonprofit here in Buncombe County whose goal is to eliminate sexual violence within our community. They offer advocacy, education, and counseling for all victims of domestic violence, and they have a great event coming up to raise awareness. It's their seventh annual Walk a Mile event. The walk is taking place on Saturday, May 7th at 10 a.m., beginning at Pack Square Park, Roger McGuire Green in downtown Asheville. Walk a Mile is the People's March Against Rape, sexual assault, and gender violence. They are encouraging both men and women to walk in the shoes of another. In years past, it meant men wore heels, but it's certainly not required to participate. The key is just be there. For more information about the event, visit OurVoiceNC.org or contact Emily Balkin at 828-279-2555. You can also email walk at OurVoiceNC.org. If you've never visited the NC Arboretum, you should definitely check it out. It's 65 acres of nature trails, cultivated gardens, educational exhibits, and much more. In fact, the end of April is the perfect time to visit the Arboretum because of their Orchid Festival. Check it out because there are over 100 classifications of orchids on display. It's taking place on April 14th through the 17th at the NC Arboretum located at 100 Frederick Law Olmsted Way in Asheville. See dazzling colors, smell exotic scents, and experience the beauty of one of the largest display of orchids in the southeast. The three-day show will last from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day, with admission being just $5, plus the usual parking fee for the Arboretum. Come experience the result of world-class orchid growers and even purchase your own while you're there from one of 13 vendors. For more information about the event, visit wncos.org. Well, just in time for spring cleaning, On Track Financial Education and Counseling is partnering with the Better Business Bureau and American Security Shredding for a great document shredding day. It's taking place on Saturday, April 16th at the Executive Park College Street parking lot in Asheville from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Whether you're an individual or a small business, come bring all of your documents to shred to take a positive step in protecting your identity. For more information about the event, you can visit OnTrackWNC.org. The Mountain Coalition for Healthcare Decisions is partnering with local attorneys to bring you a advanced care planning workshop. So if you need help with your living will or if you need assistance with health care power of attorney, why not check out this free event? It's taking place on Saturday, April 23rd at Mayhek from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Make sure to bring your driver's license or a photo ID. You will learn about health care power of attorney, creating a living will, complete your advanced directives, or even talk about your wishes for end-of-life treatment.
This event is a partnership between the Mountain Coalition for Healthcare Decisions, the North Carolina Bar Association, the Partnership for Compassionate Care, and MAHEC. For more information, you can visit gotplans123.org or contact Jennifer Stewart at 828-257-4449. Well, thank you for watching and thank you for joining us out here at Owen Park on this beautiful spring day. Now, as I mentioned before, all of the information I mentioned in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. If you'd like to catch out this program again, or if you'd like to see any of BCTV's great original programming, check out buncombecounty.org slash YouTube. You can also stream our channel live wherever you like, on your computer, your tablet, or your mobile device. Just visit bctv.vibit.com. Again, thanks for watching and have a great April, Buncombe County.